Excellent. Hey guys, I'm back with more CES 2017 coverage. I of course want to start off by thanking my sponsors, Gigabytes, OCZ, a Toshiba company, as well as Deepcool. And that's where I'm at right now is the Deepcool Suites. Uh, and they have tons of stuff to show off. So we're going to start off with these fans over here. Um, I'm sure you guys... I was going to make a fan pun, but I gave up. Never mind about that. These are RGB fans that are controllable by this little unit up top, and they're sold in sets of three. So for uh, $89, you can get three fans and this controller. It mounts in a 2.5-inch bay, or it will come with adhesive as well, as well. But you can control the lighting, as you can probably see right here, via apps available for Android or iOS. There's a ton of different features in there as far as different lighting effects you can do, whether you want breathing or flashing or uh, rainbow colors or all that kind of thing. And uh, you'll notice there's actually two different types. So this one over here on the left is going to give you just, just a tiny little bit better performance, about one degree difference, they're telling us, because this does have a circular shroud or uh, guard going around the outside of it to help to direct the airflow a little bit more. This one over here, I think you guys will find pretty interesting because it's basically frameless. It's got this kind of uh, frame going across the front of it, but there's nothing going around the side. The other nice thing about these is they are fluid dynamic bearing fans. You can pop the fan off easily if you need to clean it out or that kind of thing. And it's a very distinct and different look than you typically get with a typical 120 millimeter fan or that kind of thing. These should be out very soon, April 2017. And again, sold in sets of three. Let's move on this way. Next, we have the Baron case. So this is a new case from Deep Cool, part of their Gamer Storm series. And this case is actually going to be available with integrated uh, Deep Cool liquid cooling because, of course, they have the Captain series of all-in-one liquid coolers that they make. This one has one integrated already. So basically, it comes pre-installed, and you just got to wire that up and connect it to your motherboard and your cooling solution. They've actually taken the liquid and routed it through a little flow indicator down here. RGB lighting, of course, is also available. They put a nice SSD mount right up here above that so you can have that visible and uh, you know, show off your SSD. It does have a acrylic side panel, but it is sort of a smoked glass look and a very nice finish on this as well, uh, for acrylic in particular. So that keeps weight down and shipping costs down and it's also very durable, it just fell over. Uh, and then apart from that, there's a unique power supply situation with this one. You could mount your power supply in the bottom down here and go with a micro ATX motherboard, or you can move the power supply up to the top, which is how they have it configured right now, and then you can fit a full-size ATX motherboard in there. That's pretty nice. Also, it's metal on the front and the top. It's a very nice uh, painted finish as well. And of course, you have typical IO, IO up there and that kind of thing. Let's move over here. That last Baron case, by the way, is 129.99 MSRP, and it should be out in a couple months, possibly three months, maybe April time frame. Next up is the Earl case liquid. Here you have a similar situation, but a larger style case made for full ATX chassis. So you have a power supply shroud down there at the bottom, uh, a couple uh, SSD mounts, of course, and then again, the integrated liquid cooling solution. Uh, this one in particular has a red accents, uh, both on the LED strip at the bottom, as well as the fan up on top. It's got a 140 millimeter radiator right there. And then again, they've integrated a cool flow indicator right there. So everything's all connected there. So you can liquid cool your CPU right out of the box. Other than that, uh, fairly standard uh, configuration as far as the look of the case overall, a box style chassis, a bit of an accent here on the front panel. And then again, we have that smoked uh, acrylic panel that goes on the side so you can get a look in at your build once it's all set up configured and good to go this one is going to retail for 150 dollars and bear in mind again you're getting the case and the liquid cooler but they're telling us that they're also going to uh, later on down the line release versions of these cases that don't have the liquid cooling and they will be uh, significantly less expensive uh, you can ju you can just guess what it's going to cost because i don't know right now 70 dollars Next new case is the new ARC-90, a new version of the ARC-90. So this one uh, is a lot more high-end, you might say. Uh, it's got tempered glass panels across the front, the, the side, and uh, at the top, and then, of course, the side panel here is also tempered glass. Uh, it has a really cool radiator going up the front here. Uh, they have red fluid in it right now, and I believe that's what it's going to ship with. But it also has uh, an LED array or strip that goes uh, down the front here as well as over the top. You can control that uh, as well as with the control of the GamerStorm logo down there. There's a little flow in indicator down here in the front too. I thought that looked pretty cool. And uh, inside they have this cooling array. It comes with a 280 millimeter uh, radiator that's installed in there already. They have three fans going across it. And then on the opposite side over here, uh, the side panel has a bunch of slots sort of cut out of it. It looks really cool, and that allows for uh, direct ventilation of the heat um, from that radiator. So a very good way of keeping the heat out of the rest of your system because it's not even going to come back there and affect the rest of the system. Speaking of the rest of the system, that's an AM4 motherboard. If you guys didn't notice, 
uh, maybe even a Ryzen CPU in there, we're not really sure. Uh, and that motherboard is just there to show that uh, these new coolers from Deepcool are gonna be fully AM4 compatible. So if you're looking forward to Ryzen and you're looking forward to water cooling your Ryzen chip, then maybe look to a deep cool cooler. Uh, also, there is an extension here for your PCI Express slot, so you can take your graphics card and either do it uh, directly into the slot or you can bring it out and have it showing up there right out, right out front through your uh, side panel, so it looks pretty. One more thing to show you guys. No, two more things. We'll save the best for last. A quick update for the Deep Cool Captain uh, All-in-One Liquid Cooling Series is an RGB version of it that they have right here. So you might see uh, RGB lighting going on there in the back. Uh, if not, I can control it with the remote control. Wait, where'd the remote control go? Ha 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 Okay, I found the, uh, the remote here. So it's actually got a color wheel on it so I can just spin around, change the color. And you might notice that the color of the uh, lights on the cooler is changing along with this RGB strip. So basically what they've upgraded this with is added an RGB LED strip, added the ability to connect that strip to the Deepcool Captain liquid cooler as well, calling it Deepcool Captain EX RGB, because RGB makes sense and everyone knows what that is now. And then a magnetic uh, strip right here, which you can of course attach to any steel uh, exposed part of your chassis and uh, get yourself some RGB action just by upgrading your liquid cooler. All right, the best thing is next, it's right through here. So this is the Deep Cool Quad Stellar, which um, if you guys are familiar with the Tri Stellar, it's just the next logical thing to do is make it quad. So I assume they're gonna have a Penta Stellar at one point, but we'll leave that up to you guys for future speculation. Anyway, the Quad Stellar right here, instead of being a mini ITX chassis like the Tri, tri Stellar was, uh, supports full size, uh, actually ATX and EATX motherboards. So the, uh, the actual like plane of the motherboard sits this way along this rail right here. This compartment up in top can be removed and then you can add uh, your graphics cards up there via PCIe risers. You can fit a three-way SLI configuration up here or if you're looking into doing something else, like maybe putting radiators up here or something, you can remove that, and then you can put uh, up to four-way SLI or whatever you're doing down there in the uh, actual interior of the chassis. So lots of configurations for um, high-end graphics cards and that kind of thing. And uh, since this entire, like two, two parts of the quad are uh, mainly your motherboard layout and everything like that, the top of it up here is left for uh, hard drives, and you can fit up to nine 3.5-inch hard drives via the bays up there. Uh, it, of course, has some RGB lighting across here on the front. Down in this quadrant, you have a power supply area, uh, and then they also have some RGB lighting in there. They're still working on this as a prototype, so they're uh, planning on coming out with it in a few months now, but they're aiming for a $300 price point on this, which is less than the Tristellar was. And for a case like this, it's, I mean, very looks very custom designed and very different than your typical standard ATX chassis. That's pretty cool. Additional features also include uh, the ability to, I already said uh, extended size motherboards, but you can fit really, really large motherboards in here. And then uh, these panels here on the front are actually uh, thermally controlled. So there's a temperature sensor inside the case. I think they have multiple temperature sensors. And if it gets too warm, these will open up and actually vent more warm air. And then once the system cools down, they'll close up on their own, which is uh, pretty cool. There are some other accent lighting points on here that they've been working on as well. Uh, again, prototypes, so not everything is working perfectly. And then again, tempered glass panels that are up here as well as down on the sides, so you can get a nice look in at your system once you get it all set up and good to go. So that's the Quad Stellar. And I wanna know what you guys think of this case because I think it's pretty badass. I mean, if you have enough space for it, of course, uh, you can make a really cool looking system and $300 for something like this, I think is uh, quite reasonable. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. I will be back with more coverage of CES 2017 really soon, like really soon. We're, we're already gone to so many places and met so many people and they're all lovely. So uh, hit the thumbs up button, leave me a comment and uh, we'll see you next time.